Hello, welcome to Crockett FPV and a viewer requested video for how I wired the go kart and how the batteries and everything work. Okay, so there's um, around here we have the batteries. These are two um, 12 volt, 12 amp hour batteries which are actually for mobility scooters. They worked out about um, £20 each. So, really not bad. They give about an hour of battery life. And since they're 12 volt, I can charge them really simply with this just um, this car battery charger. Really easy to get hold of. We just had it lying around in the garage. Um, this, yeah, just two cables. That's just literally a bare wire. Probably not the safest, but um, it's fine. So, you just stick that on there. And then there's one for the other terminal, of course. Plug it in. All the normal stuff. This one I can also charge 6 volt batteries, but that's irrelevant for this. So yeah, these batteries seem to work pretty well. They've been had some damage because they've fallen off the go kart, but they still seem fine. We've got yeah, so it's it's in series, so there'll be 24 volts in total and total of 12 amp hours. Um, yeah, so this um, this originally powered this um, 250 watt motor. But we've now upgraded in the other video, um, upgraded to this 500 watt one, also 24 volts and 27.5 amps. So, so to cope with that current, I've just used um, mains wires. I've got um, a bit of thick bit of wire. This was about two pound on eBay, just a, about a meter length of wire, and I've just taken out all the little wires from inside the main casing. That's here. Um, and it seems to work pretty well. So to plug it all in, um, I've got these four clips and let's get a battery. I'll put that, normally would put that under the straps of course, but there's a little protector on that, just flip it off. Um, so how I wire it in, I've got this one marked with the earth cable, it goes on the outside then on the other side, the earth cable, again on the outside of the battery. So this earth cable is literally the same thing. This goes straight down here under the go-kart and reappears on this side. So this wire is all one wire, not connected to anything else. That just connects the um, plus to the minus, just so that we have it in series. Um, then this is the plus um, cable, um, to the, which goes into the speed controller. I'll show you that in a minute. Then the negative in there, yep, yeah, sparks. Um, so that's um, so that just literally holds it in series. So it, it's sort of the same. It, do, it does the same thing as as if you've got two batteries here. Connect these two, and then you've got negative and plus terminals to the battery to the speed controller. So that's um, yeah. So that's our twenty four volts now due to the two series batteries. This is the um, speed controller. This is 500 watt, it always has been 500 watt. Um, I used to power the 250 watt motor by it because that still works fine. Um, and I bought a 500 watt one so that because I was always intending to do a um, 500 watt upgrade at some point in time but um, I didn't want, really want to invest in it at the time um, because the 500 watt speed controller was only about a pound more than the 250 watt one. But I mean, yeah, as long as long as the number on the speed controller is higher than the motor, of course, it's fine. So, okay, so these, where are they? Yeah. I've lost it. Where is it? Okay, so we've got the, pl um, the negative from the battery clip goes around here and into... It's all cable tied down, so it's quite hard to reach. Where are we? Yeah, this is the battery terminal. Um, so on the side of the speed controller here, there is um, a chart, which is annoyingly, I think, in Chinese, which wasn't helpful. So I, I used um, some, I used, I think it's Bixby Vision or something on my phone to translate that on the screen. I, I'll put a picture of what that should say in English on there. Um, but so from that I figured out that this, these originally all had connectors somewhat like this but um, for some of them I just I, I cut them off and then put on these because then this I just screw into one set 
screw up the other set. So this is simply just the plus and minus to the battery. And then the one that feeds, I can zoom out, the one that feeds to the motor, back of the motor here, um, feeds around this cable, all of this, and into the one which I deciphered to be the motor cable. So the battery, the battery in is just the red and white. The motor is the um, blue and yellow. Now it doesn't matter which way around those go, you can plug it in either way, just if your motor spins the wrong way, just switch them around. But you, you don't blow anything up if you put those the wrong way around, of course. Um, and then the rest, the rest of the cables. Um, yeah, here we go. So this one, the blue, red, and and um, black is the speed control. Yeah, so that that goes all the way. That feeds up. Um, Right, that's that's brake. Yeah, this this cable is just for brake. That's nothing to do with electronics. Um, this um, feeds all the way up to my speed controller, which is upside down currently. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, actually. Um, but yeah, that that goes to the speed controller to power your. Um, that's just the accelerator, really. And then this other one, which also the red, no, not red, yellow and white one which comes out of that same cable to the speed controller um, that is just for the lock so if you if you don't have a lock on your speed controller I think you just need to jump that um, so it's red and yellow for up the speed controller and it is blue and red going into the speed controller well I mean this speed controller not the acceleration at the front um, I'm not sure if those colours apply to them all but, um, I don't know, should do. The rest of the cables, I just ignored them. I think, yeah, you can charge it from that, actually, apparently. Although I don't have a 24-volt charger. I only have a 12-volt charger, which seems much easier to use. That just takes about, I think it takes three hours to charge each one. So, yeah, six hours in total, unless you have two chargers, charging both at the same time. Um, that one, uh, there's, there's one for reverse, if you have a reverse gear. I, I don't know what the rest are. I'll show you them in that picture which I put on of the translation, but yeah, those both for us I just ignored really, so not as complicated as it might look. So now I'll go on to the uh, accelerator. So here's the accelerator, really simple, just like a moped sort of bike sort of thing. Key there, key goes in, turns it on, and then a um, voltage reading there, battery level. But yeah, 24 volt, really simple. Um, I think that's, I think that's everything actually. So yeah, just 24 volt, 500 watt system, 26.7 amps. Is that what it said? Something like that. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and goodbye.